Hello, my name is Dr. Atala Buriro, and today I am presenting our latest research work titled Two in One, a bimodal behavioral biometric based user authentication scheme for smartphones. So what is two in one? Two in one leverages the combination of the way you enter eight digit free text and the way you write on the touch screen to authenticate users. It is user friendly and requires no additional hardware. The choice of low level events such as touch typing and signing on the screen as biometric modalities make two in one easier to implement and adapt. Additionally, 2N1 is a user-friendly scheme as it does not require users to remember any secret. 2N1 leverages statistical timing-based features and applies feature-level fusion to obtain a final feature vector of the two combined modalities. The final feature vector obtained by combining touch typing and signature modalities is 63 features long. Then, we applied three state-of-the-art machine learning classifiers such as KNN, SVM, and Deep Neural Network. DNN for our classification task, that is user authentication. We collected 10 training samples for each activity, sitting, standing, walking, and 10 testing samples irrespective of activity. The study involves 20 real users, all of them masters or PhD students, but not security experts. We used a Samsung Galaxy S21 smartphone for data collection. We extracted statistical features from both touch type and signature data. Specifically, we obtained 30 timing-based features for touch type and 33 movement-based features for signature input. These features play a crucial role in our robust authentication approach. Classifier selection depends on multiple factors, such as size of the data, the target application, etc. In the original TSN representation, each user's data points are scattered across the feature space. KNN identifies the nearest neighbors for each data point. The classification boundary is determined by the majority class among the K nearest neighbors. KNN adapts to the local distribution of data points. Deep neural network learn complex decision boundaries through hidden layers. The classification boundary is a result of the learned weights and activations. It can capture intricate patterns in the data. We also check its VM as one of our classifiers. SVM helps create a robust decision boundary based on the behavioral biometric features extracted from touch type and signature data. Hyperparameter optimization is the process of finding the best set of hyperparameters for a machine learning model. Hyperparameters are the configuration settings of a model that are set before the learning process begins. Unlike model parameters which are learned during training, hyperparameters cannot be directly learned from the data and must be specified by the practitioner. Some common hyperparameters of DNN include learning rate number of hidden layers, number of neurons in each layer, regularization parameters, batch size activation functions. We optimize number of nearest neighbors for KNN, best kernel, C and gamma values for SVM. We present the results of unimodal settings first. On touch typing features only, deep neural network performed well and achieved 83.2% accuracy. TAR in this slide is the rate of true acceptance of the legit attempts, whereas FR is the false acceptance of adversarial attempts. However, for signature modality, KNN performed well and achieved as approximately 98% accuracy. Deep neural network has performed lower than KNN. Similarly, in bimodal settings, deep neural network performed really well and achieved as high as 98.45% accuracy with more than 97% TAR and just 0.2% FAR. We present a user-friendly and accurate smartphone user authentication scheme, namely 2-in-1. The scheme leverages two behaviors, touch type and signature. DNN worked well and achieved 97.1%, 0.2%, 98.45%, TAR, FAR, and accuracy in bimodal settings. We aim to finalize the proof of the concept implementation for this work and want to test our developed application on cross-vendor platforms such as Android and iOS and in the wild settings. Feel free to ask any question related to this work in the comments section. If you like our research, please support us by liking the video, sharing it with your family and friends, subscribing to this channel and hitting the notification bell. Thank you.